right now is specifically the use of mathematics in everyday life. Like we have been learning so many sub branches topics of mathematics right from our childhood. The very first thing which we learn is basic arithmetic. Okay? We get acquainted with the numbers. Then uh, we learn the operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of the numbers. Do you think it is useful in our daily life? Extremely useful. That is one of the most useful uh, thing in our routine for everyone, practically everyone. Whether uh, he is a literate like us who are learning, who will be learning more, or who are not school literates, even they use the basic arithmetic skills in practically every walk of life. Uh, just like imagine, uh, say you are having uh, some day special class for your regular school at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, you have somehow developed the bad habit of using alarm clock. Uh, then uh, say it's 5.30 a.m. you have to turn alarm. And uh, then uh, for 7 o'clock program or say school you have some homework remaining. Say half an hour you have to do the homework. So that you are supposed to do in the morning after waking up. So at 5.30 a.m. you look at the alarm clock and uh, you think that okay, one and a half hour is remaining but basically I need to reach at 6.45 and then uh, these many minutes I am going to take for uh, taking bath, getting ready completely, these many minutes for homework, these many minutes for cycling and going to the school. Then so you add up these times, okay? And then okay, out of the 75 minutes which I have, these added minutes are subtracting and okay, this much time is left and uh, say time is 10 minutes left yet so I can comfortably snooze 5 minute button for 2 minutes right and extend my sleep so this very subconsciously you are doing very subconsciously you are doing you are not specifically uh, thinking there you are when the third standard my addition ka rule padha tha associate duty padha tha fit subtraction padha tha fit division padha tha so let me use it systematically no but very subconsciously we are using it so in the routine we actually have to use it all arithmetic skills when you go to any shopkeeper who are purchasing anything there is arithmetic involved when uh, say uh, your parents are using uh, bikes and uh, cars so when they go to have a petrol print in the vehicle, there is arithmetic involved. So this is about simple arithmetic. Then uh, there is something like commercial mathematics. You have been learning percentage, profit, loss, compound interest, simple interest, etc. This is all included in uh, your syllabus in 5th, 6th, 7th standard. So, just think of uh, where we are using percentage more and more. If you just see the advertisements everywhere, they say that now this much percent extra we are giving or this much amount of money. You know? So, everywhere we are using percentage. Like, uh, uh, if you are using mobile, or if your family members are using mobile, for recharge of your talk time as well as uh, data offer that is internet as well as SMS packs every 15 days, 20 days you will find new types of offers right? and how these offers are offered from the company basically they are observing the overall population what percentage of people are using which type of facility like suppose in Akola, absolutely uh, less than 1% people are using internet say for uh, video streaming. Mostly internet is not used by many people or it is used for simple data uh, analysis. Like simple uh, uh, things like filling up the form for exams etc. Right? So they know the target group in this 2 tier, 3 tier city are using internet for this much amount of time so this much MB of data is what is their optimum need right so accordingly the plans are designed so here we are seeing two aspects indirectly 
as a user, when I want to decide okay, whether I should use 10 MP data plan at 5 rupees for one day or should I use 20 MB data plan for 8 rupees for one day, you are doing calculations automatically. You are finding that okay, 20 MB for uh, one day should be 10 rupees if 10 MB is for 5 rupees, but that will be between 8 rupees and 12. 20 MB I need to use, but the experience will get it. So well, why not uh, uh, directly pay 8 rupees than paying 5 rupees two times? So you are also using mathematics there, you are applying your numerical skills, as well as company is doing it, okay, 8 rupees pack will be used by many many more people, so then it's a better plan, right? That they are having also profit. So this is how commercial mathematics is. So it's all right, the numbers are concerned, this much we understand in daily routine we need this. But then why do we study algebra and geometry and all these things, you know? When we come to higher standards, such different branches of mathematics are there. What is the use of quadratic? What is the use of arithmetic progression, geometric progression in daily life? Well, uh, if you talk about this progression, when you go in higher standards, that turns to sequences and series. There is a chapter in 11th standard which is learning at sequences and series. This, when you go in higher mathematics, say uh, engineering mathematics, there are various series like Taylor series expansion. So there is Fourier series, etc. Basically, these series are used in almost all the electronic equipments design. Right? So now that comes some of some more interest goes because in daily life we are using all the electronic gadgets. Right? So sequence series uh, forms the basis of that, and arithmetic progression is one of the simplest series. So that's why we are learning. That's why arithmetic algebra is important. Geometry is the second one. You learn straight lines, angles, and then another you learn triangle. One of the properties of triangle you are using almost everywhere to optimize your time. That is uh, triangle inequality. The sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side of the triangle. That you are Suppose you are traveling by cycle and say you come across Bharatul Dalai ground. Okay. And uh, now you have two choices, whether you go from this end to that end, you are going by the straight road, and then you are taking a turn and you are going this way, or you have another way also. You are comfortable riding the bike on the ground, you go straight. So most of the time, you usually prefer straight. Why do you prefer it? Because assuming 